Good evening, everybody from Starkey Farmstead. So today, Stephen and I have been doing some serious weed eating, especially around this pond. All right, a couple of reasons for that. Keeps your snakes down a little bit. Not much. The dogs are still killing them all the time. But, I mean, it's beautiful. He did a great job. I helped a little bit. You can see the dirt. Not much, so his weed eater must weigh 25 pounds. I can't even crank it and hold it. So what I'm gonna show you guys today is he had to go down the road and get some more sand. We have a couple of places in the yard where we had holes real close to our pond. And so what I'm assuming is, what do you think caused that? I have no idea. It's, I've sat here and filled it with water. It didn't come out of the pond. So it's probably a burrow. A burrow something. But it took one five gallon bucket to fill this little four inch hole to the top. Did and you fill the one down here? Because there is another one. That's what I wanted you to come out here for. Yeah. I didn't know where anymore. Yeah, so we started doing tours on the property. What, and for you guys that are looking to allow people to come and see how you homestead, how you farmstead, hobby farm, just remember when you live in rural areas like we're living or even in cities, you're going to get animals that burrow, okay? And so you periodically need to walk your property, find your holes, and do just what my husband did. Fill them up with sand, and then run a water hose down into that hole, pushing and packing that sand, and just keep filling it in. You don't want someone to get injured on your property. All right, so you can, you can see this hole right here, but you can barely see it. I really do think that's some kind of burrow. Okay, um, but look, when you back up, you can't see it. But if I was walking, watch this, look how big that is. You could easily get somebody, their foot slipping in that, breaking an ankle. And then look how close it is to my pond. That's why I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure it's some kind of a burrowing animal. Um, we find them all over the property. So like I said, he got a five gallon bucket. He filled it with sand. And now he's gonna come over here. He's gonna pack that sand in. He's gonna use the water hose to uh, push that sand in deep, deep, deep. And to continue to fill it up to where it looks like this one. All right, so now, now it's, it's like packed, see that? All right, so that's just a way to kind of a perimeter check your property, guys. Like I said, perimeter check. Even if you don't have people come in to tour and to walk, but just your children, it's the little things like this that cause serious injuries, okay? <laughs> Hopefully this hole connects to that hole. You know, I never thought about that, but that's not, look at the distance. That's not, um, huh, it's actually uh, a really good idea. That's uh, not an impossibility, is it? Yeah, because I really think those are burrows. This ain't going to take nowhere near as much sand, I don't think. Another thing, if you're living in Louisiana or in any rural area, to be honest, you're always gonna be fighting, right? You're always gonna be fighting the woods as it pushes back into your property. Now, this is a just a ditch that is overgrown that is between us and our neighbor, right? Well, we leave this, couple of reasons, right? We leave it as a barrier to slow the wind down during hurricanes especially doesn't seem like much but it's a buffer okay so this is a buffer area but it also has a lot of native plants and flowers and our native pollinators really love this area but you do have to kind of fight 
with, I don't want to say fight, okay, don't fight your property, but work with it, but you are going to have to tame it, you have to tame your property, that's the word, because look how close our garden is to the edge over here. Now they say for you pollinators to really, really be able to get in there and help your garden, the closer the better. Right, so now that is like a four or five foot breezeway through there. But it does help to have that over there. Like I said, the pollinators breed in it, they overwinter in it, it slows the winds down, right? Because this is the north part of my property here. So as the winds come in really hard, and if you look at the south side of my property, a lot of tree coverage, a lot of another buffer zone buffer zone buffer zone so we are in a great location so when people are saying I'm looking to purchase property so that I can farm you can farm anything or you can garden anything but if you have the funds and if you have the time and you're looking for like your forever home I always say you guys pray about it but then find something where you know you've got like buffer zones already in place like I didn't have to do any of that that was already on the property around the property when we purchased it it's actually one of the reasons we felt led to buy this property so that's just a little bit of um, information on property care and upkeep you are if you have a pond do we need it we need it occasionally because look where he is now he gets in the pond there's a we have I have some footage of him I'll probably be posting soon, just, you know, chilling in the pond on a hot summer day. That's, I wish I could get in there, but there's some snapping turtles and there was a one-eyed alligator for a little bit. So I'm not too big on getting into the pond, but this is what I talk about when I say you have to be equally yoked, you have to row in each other's boats. This is why, guys, this was like two and a half hours of work this afternoon. We're exhausted. Now I'm going to go inside and I'll finish my homemade vegetable soup. Using those vegetables out of the garden. I can put a little bit of everything in there. I actually have to trick my husband. He's not a big veggie eater yet, but he's gonna end up that way. So you guys have a blessed night. Get out there, enjoy your property. Guys, it's hot. Work early morning, work late evening. Stop trying to go out in your yard between 11 and four, unless you're just doing perimeter checks and checking on your animals, okay? Cause you're gonna overheat. Pay attention to that, drink lots of fluids, lots of water guys have a blessed night. Thanks for watching. Remember, please subscribe, like, and comment.